Uh, now we're going to take a quick look at the uh, calendars. Calendars are um, available to set up to match um, and support your delivery schedule. So uh, the very first one, walk-in, it's really a base calendar. This is a calendar that's set up for your the resource center schedule. Then, uh, in this case, we call it a walk-in. So if somebody walked into the resource uh, center, they could uh, pick an item up uh, if you're uh, providing that ser service as well. Then each calendar uh, pertains to a route. So this is our Tuesday, Thursday route. Uh, typical calendar set up for uh, 400 days. And then um, if you want to, you can use a feature called Mate. And so we've mated it. And so you see uh, this is calendar two, and uh, the Mate is 102. And it picks up where this one expires on the 7th of uh, February in 2014. This one really picks up on the 4th of February 2014 before this one expires and allows you to go out about another uh, year and a half uh, calendar year uh, is set up for school days of course so if we take a quick look at a uh, the base calendar and these all really operate the same way in this case all the weekends are closed uh, days that have already um, we'll say uh, passed by are usually uh, have a line across them then um, you basically would uh, set up the calendar. So the ending date is the date that matches out on the front there. The starting date is when this demo was probably set up originally. Um, and there's some flags you can, uh, well, first of all, you give it a name. So we could have called it base calendar. They call it a walk-in. Uh, <coughs> so once you save it, uh, then you want to roll it over for the next year. You could just uh, do adjust and rest, which means um, it just does the holidays for the next year or excuse me the weekends for the next year and we'll bump everything along based on what you had closed in the previous year you know you can go back and check that uh, saves you a lot of work then of course you can go in and um, uh, do some variables here for transit buffer etc and uh, that's how the calendars really work they're pretty straightforward they're all point and click and um, so uh, basically what we would end up here if I was going to look at uh, go back to the calendar list and we'll go to a, a, let's see a Monday Tuesday and that's again pretty straightforward uh, they all look approximately the same uh, there may be some variations between the routes of course uh, because each district might have a little different schedule um, so if I go over to orders page this particular uh, account is a Monday, Tuesday delivery. And so uh, all of the dates should be adjusted accordingly. So if I was to do a booking, uh, you can use the Hunger Games, which is the title we had in earlier. And if I go in and uh, pick a date from the calendar, it takes a second because of this uh, system we're using here. And um, if I pick Let's just say uh, they want this on the 23rd of January. So I select that date. And uh, there's the date that they want. It's called the view date. We covered this earlier when we did a booking. But that's the date it would ship out. And uh, that's the call date and due date, usually approximately the same date. But that's when it's due back based on the schedule. And whatever parameters we have plugged in for each of these media types that's how that all works so if I do a booking because it already tells me a copy is available for that date so I book it and there you go now if anybody was curious how uh, we handle conflicts we well, might as well just cover that real quick so I bring a new patron up here and uh, we'll um, put a new person up here and we'll say, uh, let's see, we'll pick uh, Gene. Let's bring a Gene in here. We have a lot of Genes. We have Gene. He's been here a bunch of times. He's one of our programmers. So we'll go to Hidden Valley High School. That's a walk-in. Well, you notice right away, 
since we only have we know we only have one copy of the Hunger Games, um, that uh, the date which was resident from the previous request is still on the screen. It automatically has already said there's no prints available because there's only one copy. So if I was to uh, check to see when it is available, let's just see what it will do for me here. There's all the, the dates that's already booked. Uh, so I'd have to go, of course, to the very next day. And there it is, one copy available. So I'll book it for Gene. There you have it. That's how that works. So that concludes the uh, part about the calendars and um, how they pertain to the routes and scheduling. And you've also uh, were able to see a uh, an order with a conflict and how that was resolved. Thank you.